While we all know of Aretha Castle Haley Boulevard in Central City, a portion of Dryad Street was renamed after the civil rights pioneer back in the late 80s. And in this morning's You Ought to Know segment, her grandson tells us more about her life and legacy and how most of us have been mispronouncing her name. You may call it O.C. Haley Boulevard, but the grandson of the woman who this street is named after says we should not be abbreviating her name. It's Aretha. You know, I grew up hearing her mother, my great grandmother, Madeer, say it. Yes, most of us say it wrong. It is Aretha, and that's part of the reason her grandson, Blair Dotton Haley, wants to see people say her full name and remember who she was. She was a, a warrior of civil rights. And that fighter spirit was in her blood. The home of her mother, Virgie Castle, was the New Orleans destination for the Freedom Rides. By the time Haley was in college, she was working with several civil rights organizations. She was one of the leaders of many of the marches, sit-ins, demonstrations uh, that we all know about, uh, particularly Lombard versus Louisiana, which ended up being one of the cases that went to the Supreme Court and uh, helped overturn segregation in public accommodations. And after the civil rights movement of the 50s and 60s, she continued to work for progress in the black community. She started the Learning Workshop, a preschool for black children in New Orleans, and she worked for Ella LSU Medical Center as the director of minority recruitment. Instead of going into political office herself, which many, many people wanted her to do, she went into politics and helped get elected uh, black people to public office, specifically uh, Dorothy May Taylor and Gail Glapion, who were both the first black women to hold uh, their elected seats. Haley passed away in 1987 from ovarian cancer. She was only 48 years old. In 1989, the city decided to honor the legacy of Aretha Castle Haley by renaming this portion of Dryad Street after her. They chose this location because it was near one of her first offices. Blair was only about 10 years old during that street renaming ceremony, but today he carries on her legacy in his own way. He and his husband, Brandon, created a brand called the Blairism, spreading messages that celebrate the black community. She is absolutely one of the greatest driving forces for who I am, what I do, how I move in the world, and what I think about what I will leave with the world when my time is up. And this is so cool. The City Council Street Renaming Commission recently sent out its final list of recommendations and Aretha's younger sister, Doris Jean Castle, is on the list to replace Beauregard Drive in Jackson Barracks. Doris Jean Castle was also a civil rights activist who followed her sister's lead fighting against segregation. And Eric, I love doing this story because you've been telling me for years it is Aretha, not yep. Aretha, that the family said this. So we got more background on that, but I know you've been telling us this for a long time. Yeah, and, and I always try to correct people when they say uh, uh, Aretha. Yeah, and it is important, right? She was a person. She made so many That's changes name, to the city yeah. we all benefit from. We should be saying her full name and saying it correctly. And, and, and I think he's right about don't don't make it OC, you know, give her a right. full name, you know? Exactly.